Hi, this is an overview of Chess Arsenal for the iPhone. This is an app to help you plan and remember your chess opening repertoire. You may know several opening variations from books or following the latest Grandmaster fashion, but what's important is knowing what to play when you're on the clock. The Chess Arsenal solution is to help you make a personal database and then present quizzes against that database. The app doesn't come with games, rather it's a study tool and a companion to your chess books, your online databases, and your tournament score sheets. I'm going to show you an example of how I would put together a segment of my own repertoire. But first I want to show you some of the structure of the app. And if I tap the menu icon in the upper left, I get three main segments of the application. The repertoire, the training screen, and the training results. The repertoire presents a board where I can start inputting moves that become part of my own database. So I'm going to switch to black and get us to a position that's of interest to talk about. So after d4, knight f6, c4, g6, knight c3, bishop g7, e4, d6, we arrive at a position familiar to King's Indian defense players, where white has a number of interesting options. Now I'm going to start inputting these, and you'll see them showing up on the list down below as moves we've considered. The blue line is the last move that was played, and if I tap that, I go back a move. So I played bishop e2, which is the Oberbach variation, and you'll see that show up in the list here. f3 is the same-ish variation, f4 is the four pawns attack, and knight f3 is the classical variation. After each of these moves, it's very easy to look at this and see which responses from white I have considered. I'm going to go back into knight f3, the classical, and play my response to that, which is the castle. And you'll see the key icon here. If I tap that, castles becomes my preferred move in this position. That is, it's a key move. And that'll be of significance when we get to the training page. I'm going to back up. And what I would do is go through each move in this position and give it my own key responses, my own key moves. Now, another thing I can do here is you see the ellipses. And I can annotate the last move that was played on the board. So I'm going to give that for the sake of argument, an exclamation point question mark, which means interesting. And I'll, I can also type notes for this move. So I would flesh out my repertoire going e into each of these lines and give it a response. And let me just do that for one more move. So after F3, I would also castle and mark that as a key move. Now going back to the menu, another thing I can do with my repertoire is email it to myself in PGN format, that's portable game notation. And that can be copied directly into Chessbase or SCID or a number of other chess applications. And moving over to the training, we'll see our positions played back to us until we get to one of our key moves. It'll stop just before and ask us what the option was that we had told it. So you remember knight f3 was our classical variation, and our response to that, just to keep it simple, was the castle. Now position, <clears throat> positions are presented randomly, so if we hit next, we'll get another position. Now these will all be in the King's Indian defense because that's all we gave it. And once again, it's a different position with f3, but our response was the castle. But for the sake of argument, once again, I'm going to get this wrong so we can see what happens. It tells me that's not it, and I have the opportunity to retry that. So it'll play back the position, and I can do this until I get it right. The idea is to take these quizzes over and over again until we know the opening system cold. So I'm going to jump over to the results page now, and you'll see all the variations I've listed as key moves, and it's actually the position before the key move that asked what were you going to do in that position, and our score on that position. And if I, these are sorted in order of um, worst result first. So it's very easy to see which ones I'm not scoring well. And if I tap that, I will go directly to it in the repertoire screen, where I can analyze it or perhaps even delete this move and update my, my repertoire. So this app will be useful to you if you like to visualize your openings. Um, you want to know if you have full coverage of the opening. For example, you see in the list down here all the moves we've considered, but it's very easy to look at that and say, hey, there's another move in this position, g3, 
which I don't have in the list here, therefore I haven't considered it and my repertoire isn't complete. You'd also like this if you're working on your, your memory or your recall and you like the play the right move quiz format. Now I know I'll be using this in my own tournament preparation and I hope you do as well. So let me know how it works for you in the comments below. Thanks.